Oftentimes, people want to show their support for our military, but don't know how to make a genuine connection. They attend events with first responders and military personnel, but find it difficult to express their heartfelt support and gratitude. Paint for a cause changes that. Imagine contributing to an artwork that symbolizes unity and respect, transcending the simple act of painting to foster deeper connections between civilians and the military community. This vision is at the heart of the Paint for a Cause project, led by Aaron Horrell and Barb Bailey. Hosted by the Stars and Stripes Museum in Bloomfield, Missouri, this initiative empowers civilians to engage in a transformative experience. Well, I've been really surprised. I've learned so much from Paint for a Cause. So many of the people that have painted on it, I know them. And then I hear their story and I'm like, I didn't know that. It's amazing to hear all the people that have so many relatives that have served. Everyone that has come through the doors has, has always had somebody who served and would like to do who would like to paint in memory or in honor of someone. I chose to paint in honor of my first husband, Gary Tippin, who was uh, in the Army. And to do something like this is very moving, very, um, you know, patriotic. And he was very patriotic, so it, it meant a lot to be able to do that in his honor. Participants are invited to paint small triangles as part of a grand interconnected mural. This not only aids in fundraising for the museum, but also fosters genuine connections between diverse groups, bridging the often wide civilian-military divide. It's always fun to see the blank canvas, and then once we get the people start painting, to see how it evolves and how, no matter what it looks like in the beginning, it always turns out in the end, it's beautiful. and It'll look really nice, and the people that participated, everybody should be proud of their little part. It's, you know, a little bit here and there, and they make the big part together, and it, it turns out good, and it looks good. By participating, civilians have the unique opportunity to honor their loved ones who served in the military. I am painting for Elmer Fisher and Leonard Fisher and their brother. My grandpa was Hubert Fisher. And they were in what? They were World War II and they were all in the army over in France. I felt so out of place because there wasn't anything reflective of, of the life I had been living for 13 and a half years with my husband. And to see this happening here, it's amazing. Conversations shared over the mural have revealed touching stories, like those of veterans from historical events, such as the Battle of the Bulge. He, he joined the Army at 17 and was in the Battle of the Bulge. And during that war, it was so cold that winter, um, they said that he crawled into camp. He doesn't have any memory of it because he couldn't walk. His feet were so frozen. And he almost lost his feet during that time. These interactions have sparked a newfound appreciation, bringing together communities and fostering a shared sense of patriotism. I would like to invite possibly some uh, military bases like uh, Fort Leonard Wood here in, in uh, Missouri or Whiteman Air Force Base or maybe some other military base or place uh, that we could get to without traveling a long way. Uh, I would like to invite them to look into it, call the Stars and Stripes Museum and see if we can be get connected in some way. If it's within a reasonable distance, Barb and I will try to get there uh, with a panel and allow a lot of your people to paint. Imagine being part of this larger-than-life artwork, where each brush stroke signifies a tribute to someone who has served the country. This initiative moves beyond the mere act of painting. It's a chance to carry forward a legacy, to pass the torch of respect and honor. It's, it's for everyone. You know, the Stars and Stripes is, a, is not only a national newspaper, it's a world newspaper. It goes wherever our soldiers are. So if you have someone that you um, 
you know, that is in the military. We'd love for you to paint for that person. This isn't just about creating art. It's about creating connections and sustaining them. It's about enabling moments where civilians and military members alike can pause, reflect, and share in the narrative of service and sacrifice. These connections are the true essence of the project, breathing life into every triangle painted. The way I say it is that you are bringing several generations together, yeah. but it's a lot deeper. It's the motions and it's bringing where a lot of people don't talk about what happened. Yeah. And we lose that over a period of time because a lot of people do not respect or even know because we don't talk about it. And that's where the emotional and the deep connection comes with this whole project. Mm -hmm. I think it's personally amazing because it's a huge, huge statement and a huge bridge. I think you see right behind us. Yeah, the future generation all together. It's time to transform your support into a tangible legacy. Join the Paint for a Cause project and be part of something that extends far beyond paint and canvas. Whether you're paying tribute to a family member, friend, or a historical figure, your participation is crucial. Together, let's make this mural not just a piece of art, but a symbol of unity and honor. Make your mark today and paint for a cause.